Huge animals have always terrified us, even more than the really small creepy crawly ones. All through history, we have imagined huge monsters that might come and screw things up for us like Godzilla or King Kong. But we didn't even need to imagine them, because there have always been huge animals on Earth, and some of them are still alive today. Prepare yourself to meet some truly enormous monsters that you might never have heard of. From the enormous prehistoric snake, who was as long as two school buses, to the supersized snake who loves the water. Here's 15 giant animals you didn't know existed. <sighs> Number 15. Titanoboa the Titanoboa has been extinct for a long time, but this was a truly monstrous and giant snake. It was more than 40 feet long and could weigh around 2,500 pounds. This absolutely terrifying giant was discovered in Colombia, where fossilized remains were dug up and dated back to around 60 million years ago. So you don't have to worry about this one for now, unless someone does a Jurassic Park and brings it back to life from DNA or something. It is the largest snake ever discovered, and it lived for a period of about 10 million years during what is known as the Middle to Late Paleocene Epoch. This epoch is one which followed the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, which famously wiped out all the dinosaurs and a whole bunch of other stuff too. An expedition led by paleontologist Jonathan Block of the United States dug this massive snake up in 2009. He became even more famous when a full-scale model of a Titanoboa was displayed at Grand Central Terminal, New York City, as part of a promotion for the Smithsonian. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Giant Anaconda if you weren't worried about the extinct Titanoboa, then you can stop feeling relieved for now, because the giant anaconda is alive and well and living in our forests today. This is the snake heavyweight, and it's the heaviest snake of any current living species, and also one of the longest. This snake is seriously thick, and this allows it to swallow some enormous prey items. Usually, they like to feast on fish, birds, tapirs, wild pigs, capybara, and caimans, but they have even been known to eat jaguars. And it might take a while to digest a whole jaguar, but this 550-pound snake, with a body circumference of more than a foot has no problem swallowing it down. That weight just helps them with constriction, which is how they kill their prey. They coil around the victim, flexing their muscles tighter every time the victim breathes out, until their hypersensitive skin can feel that the heartbeat has stopped and it's time to get to the swallowing. These snakes are super swimmers and are considered semi-aquatic due to all the time they spend in the water. And if you are wondering whether they eat people, well, the answer is that, yes, they do. So better keep clear of this huge animal. Number 13. Glyptodon. Glyptodon was an animal that resembled the modern armadillo. In fact, armadillos are the little relatives of this giant, which was absolutely enormous, being about the same size and weight as a Volkswagen Beetle. They lived during the Pleistocene and were heavily armored, having to deal with some pretty intense predators back in those days. The word glyptodon is Greek for carved tooth, due to their unusual teeth. One thing that has interested scientists about this animal is that it looks kind of like a turtle even though they are not related. Which provides evidence for the theory that animals can end up figuring out how to evolve very similar forms even without being related. It is believed that the first fossils of this giant were found by the godfather of evolution, Charles Darwin. He found a firmer and a part of a tail, but at the time he didn't realize it was a new species, believing it to be a part of an already discovered monster, the giant ground sloth. Turns out it was a brand new animal and one which scientists are still discussing to this day, 200 years after its discovery. Number 12. Giant Mekong Catfish 
The giant Mekong catfish is a huge catfish that is critically endangered. It is a member of the shark catfish family and is native to the Mekong Delta in Southeast Asia and China. These fish are different from other catfish as they do not have the barbels on their face which resemble cat whiskers and they also do not have teeth. However, the giant Mekong catfish holds the record as the largest freshwater fish in the world, and they can grow to 10 feet and more than 600 pounds. However, the largest catch by a person was 810 and weighed 646 pounds. Conservationists are working hard to try and save this iconic fish from extinction, and its range and numbers have been catastrophically reduced in recent years due to habitat destruction by humans. 80% of all giant Mekong catfish have died in the last 14 years, and new dam projects will wipe out at least 40% of those that remain. Fishing and trading this fish are now banned, but even before the ban, only 7 to 11 of them were spotted in the Mekong, meaning numbers are likely extremely low. Number 11. Megatherium Americanum we mentioned it already, and of course, it's now time to take a look at the Megatherium americanum, or the giant ground sloth. In fact, its Greek name just means great beast, and there's nothing wrong with that description of this absolute monster. This is one of the biggest land mammals to have ever lived, only exceeded in size by elephants and the extinct giant rhino. The giant ground sloth was first discovered back in 1788 near the Luján River in Argentina. It was shipped back to Spain where paleontologist Georges Cuvier studied it and figured out that it was a kind of sloth. This animal went extinct 12,000 years ago during what is known as the Quaternary Extinction Event, which caused the deaths of the majority of large fauna in the Americas, and scientists are still debating why this event happened. However, one discovery is of a giant ground sloth butcher, so it shows that humans were killing and eating them, maybe to the point of driving them to extinction extinction, although climate change is also a possible cause. You could certainly eat pretty well on a 4-ton, 20-foot mammal. The giant ground sloth was a herbivore, feeding on leaves such as yuccas, agaves, and grasses. So at least they didn't have to worry about being hunted back, but a swipe from that huge muscular tail would surely be game over for anyone. Number 10. The Woolly Rhinoceros the woolly rhinoceros was a common sight back in the Pleistocene era of Europe and Northern Asia. These animals existed until the end of the last glacial period and would have been familiar to humans who were living there at that time. It is a relative of today's rhinos, but the main difference is that it was covered in long, thick hair. This woolly hair allowed it to survive the extremely cold conditions of that time. Better than just fossils, we have fully preserved examples of this animal. Due to them being trapped in the permafrost, and we have even prehistoric cave paintings which show the woolly rhino as perceived by prehistoric people. Some of the frost-preserved carcasses even have human spears buried within them, having apparently escaped the human hunters only to die somewhere else. But this shows that humans did hunt these huge beasts, which must have been a pretty dangerous job. The cave paintings at Chauvet Cave in France, for example, are very accurate depictions, which are even superior to some of the artistic attempts to draw animals from much more recent cultures, which at other sites, statuettes of woolly rhinos, have been found in huge numbers, which suggests some kind of industrial, religious, or monetary usage. Number 9. Woolly Mammoth Similar to the woolly rhino, but more famous is the woolly mammoth. They were about the size of an African elephant, although the steppe mammoth could grow to a massive 15 feet tall, which is about 4 feet more than the average African elephant. That's a seriously huge animal. They had much smaller ears than their African cousins, since a regular elephant's ears are used to reduce heat and keep the elephant cool, which is the last thing a mammoth living in permafrost wants to do. Like the woolly rhino, many woolly mammoths have been preserved in ice, and it would be possible to begin breeding them and bringing the species back to life, now through DNA we have salvaged. 
the first woolly mammoth skeleton was discovered in 1799. However, in Asia, the mammoth's remains had long been known to the Chinese and had influenced many of their folklore ideas about monsters, such as the Chinese dragon. Mammoths finally went extinct 4,000 years ago, around the time the pyramids were being built. But mammoth ivory was still in use for long after that time, and in fact is still available for use today, with many places in Russia and Alaska offering mammoth ivory goods, although you may have to save your pennies if you're thinking of investing. Number 8. Frilled Shark this shark is known as the frilled shark because it is unique among sharks in that it has gills which run right across the throat of one set, rather than the more common two sets of gills seen on most sharks. They also have a red fringe which looks like a frill. This is one of many attributes that make this primitive shark a living fossil, according to scientists. Most animals which are this simple died out and were replaced by more complex ones, but the frilled shark just kept on going. Don't ever change, man. They can grow 6 feet 6 inches long and have a huge mouth, which has led many to believe that this fairly common shark is the animal which gave rise to ancient legends of the sea serpent. These days, they often find themselves caught by commercial fishermen and are usually ground up as fish meal, although they are sometimes sold as meat in certain countries. However, whenever people have tried to capture this eel-like shark and put it in captivity, it has usually died within hours. This is one shark that needs to be in the ocean and not in a tank. Number 7. Giant Golden Crowned Flying Fox the giant golden crowned flying fox is a mega bat which is endemic to the Philippines. This is a fruit eating bat, although it sometimes also eats leaves. Like most bats, it is mainly active at night, sleeping during the day in roosts. And these roosts can contain thousands of individuals and even sometimes mixes in with other species like the large flying fox. However, massive deforestation and bushmeat poaching have left this bat on the endangered species list. Protection laws have been applied, but now they face another problem from tourists who like to head into the jungle in the daytime and throw things at the roosting bats for fun. This is one of the largest bats in the world, and they can weigh as much as 3.1 pounds, with the largest wingspan. These bats love to feast on different kinds of figs found in the forest, and each variety of fig adds different nutrients to its diet. Megabats are not able to echolocate, so have use of sight to navigate and also evade predators such as the terrifying looking Philippine eagle. Number 6. Paraceratherium Paraceratherium is another kind of rhinoceros, but this time a huge hornless one which lived in Eurasia between 34 and 23 million years ago. We do have a complete fossil of the Paraceratherium, but we can guess from the parts we have that this was one of the largest land mammals of all time, probably measuring as much as 16 feet tall and 24 feet in length. This big mammal was a herbivore like its modern cousins and would strip the leaves from trees with a single pair of incisors in its jaws. It had a very strong body with thick neck and limbs like columns, and it was dark gray in color. Its actual weight is unknown, but it could have been as much as 20 tons. It probably lived a life similar to modern rhinos and elephants, and would have had very few predators due to its massive size and strength. Can you imagine trying to hunt one of these? In fact, the only beasts it needed to fear were probably other Paraceratheriums. Number 5. Argentavis Magnificence Argentavis magnificens is also known as the giant teratorn, which gives a pretty good impression of just how awesome and terrifying the giant bird was. It is possibly the largest flying bird to have ever existed, and its fossils have mainly been found in Argentina. The wingspan of this bird has been estimated as much as 26 feet, which is insane when you consider North America's biggest wingspan belongs to the California condor, which is just 9-8, while the biggest in the world is the albatross at just over 12 feet. The body of the giant teratorn probably weighed as much as 180 pounds, which is huge for a bird. 
These birds probably laid one egg every two years, and it would have been around 2.2 pounds in weight, a little smaller than an ostrich egg. Unsurprisingly, it is believed that this bird suffered zero predation, since literally nothing on Earth could possibly tackle such a massive bird, meaning they mainly died of old age or disease. It probably launched itself from high points into headwinds, as it would have been impossible for it to flap its wings for a long time, or hard enough to take off like a regular bird. Number 4. Goliath Frog the Goliath frog is a champion, and it is the largest living frog species. They can grow to be a massive 13 inches in length and weigh as much as 7.2 pounds. They are a rare frog with a small range which encompasses parts of the Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. Unfortunately, it is getting only rarer due to the rampant habitat destruction, collectors, and hunters who like to eat them. They are long living when they are left in peace with lifespans of up to 15 years. However, they do have many predators aside from humans, including snakes, Nile crocodiles, and Nile monitors. Conservation efforts are currently focused on trying to educate the local population about sustainable hunting for this popular food and letting them know that if they hunt them all, there won't be any more pretty soon. Once they were popular in zoos, but since it has been learned that they do not do well in captivity, and so zoos no longer collect them. The Equatorial Guinean government has declared that no more than 300 goliaths may be exported per year for the pet trade, but in fact the numbers have dropped to far fewer than that as the global market has reduced somewhat now that it is widely known just how endangered they are. Number 3. Giant Squid the giant squid is basically the ultimate sea monster of every seaman's nightmares. These huge squid are truly amazing creatures with all kinds of unusual features on them. For example, the giant squid's eyes are as large as frisbees, some 10.5 inches across. They also do not have a jelly filling like human eyes, but are filled with water. When the squid dies, the eyes kind of leak out. Biologist Dan Nilsson said the eyes collapse. It's like a collapsed plastic bag. Also, the females are bigger than the males, and in fact, they are as much as twice as big. We know who wears the pants in a giant squid relationship. All five pairs of them. Anyway, their normal enemies are the sperm whale, and these two can sometimes be witnessed having epic battles, which seem like they're from some nautical fantasy horror story. As the whale tries to eat the 45-foot-long squid, the squid will not go down easy, using its powerful suckers to tear the skin right off the whale's body. Ouch! If they lose a tentacle, then it's not the end of the world. The giant squid squid has the ability to grow its extremities back if they are damaged. Number 2. Giant Chinese Salamander the Chinese giant salamander is yet another huge and amazing animal which is sadly critically endangered, and will soon be confined to the past with the woolly rhino and that massive snake I mentioned at the start of the video, Titanoboa, if we don't do something soon. These salamanders spend their lives underwater, but they don't have gills. Instead, they absorb oxygen through their skin. They are also blind and navigate based on vibrations in the water. They can grow to around 6 feet in length, and live up to 80 years. And if that sounds kind of humanish, then there's even more to that story. Their Latin name used to be Homo diluvi testis, which means witness of the great flood. This is because when a Swiss physician described a Chinese giant salamander fossil he found, he assumed it was an ancient human which had perished during the great flood of the Bible. But it's certainly not a hominid at all. It is the largest amphibian on the planet and has been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Imagine making making it that far and then finally being wiped out by too many plastic sporks being thrown into the water. Number 1. Goliath Beetle the Goliath beetle is known to be the largest beetle on the planet. It is not the longest, but it is by far the heaviest and strongest, making this the panzer tank of the insect world. They've been around for 300 million years, and they live in tropical and subtropical forests of Africa. Luckily, they are not endangered and are still quite common. While many people like keeping them as pets, this hasn't damaged their numbers too, too much. They can grow to around 4.3 inches and weigh 3.5 ounces. <laughs> 
but that's only the beginning because that size translates into unbelievable strength, with these creatures able to lift 850 times their own body weight. It's impressive enough if a human can lift one time their own body weight. In fact, to give you a comparison, it would be like the average person lifting three fire trucks. That's some serious benching from the Goliath Beetle. They actually have two pairs of wings, with one pair used mainly to protect the other primary pair. The males have horns a little like antlers on deer, and they are used in the same way, to fight for territory with other males. Even among the insects, life is a struggle sometimes. Which of these giant animals would you most like to meet? Do you think it's a good idea to bring back woolly mammoths? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.